In the heart of the verdant countryside, nestled amidst rolling hills and babbling brooks, lay the idyllic village of Featherington. Within its quaint boundaries, a most extraordinary chicken by the name of Sir Reginald Featherbottom resided. This fine feathered fellow possessed a regal demeanor that set him apart from his barnyard companions. With his plumage as resplendent as spun gold and a gaze that exuded confidence, Sir Reginald harbored aspirations far grander than the mundane existence of his fellow fowl. It was not enough for Sir Reginald to spend his days scratching for seeds and clucking idly in the yard. Nay, he fancied himself a knight of yore, a gallant hero destined for daring adventures and noble quests. Thus, with a spirited cluck and a flap of his majestic wings, Sir Reginald embarked upon a quest to prove his mettle and carve his name into the annals of history. His first trial came in the form of a menacing dragon that had been terrorizing the neighboring hamlets. Armed with little more than a battered kitchen knife, an heirloom passed down through generations of feather bottoms, Sir Reginald marched boldly into the dragon's lair, his heart swelling with determination. However, to his surprise and dismay, the dragon turned out to be nothing more than a toothless lizard with a penchant for tall tails and warm hearths. Despite the lack of fiery combat, Sir Reginald's encounter with the dragon served as a humbling reminder that not all challenges could be met with brute force alone. Undeterred by his initial setback, Sir Reginald pressed onward, his path leading him into the depths of a mysterious enchanted forest. Here, amidst the whispering leaves and dappled sunlight, he encountered a troop of mischievous fairies whose antics tested his patience and resolve. From being ensnared in shimmering spider webs spun by mischievous sprites to having his feathers bedecked with glitter and baubles by giggling pixies, Sir Reginald found himself entangled in a web of magical mischief. Yet, through it all, he maintained his dignity and composure, his determination unyielding in the face of adversity. But it was not merely the perils of the outside world that challenged Sir Reginald's resolve. Back in Featherington, he faced skepticism and ridicule from his barnyard brethren, who viewed his aspirations with scorn and disbelief. Despite their mocking clucks and derisive squawks, Sir Reginald remained steadfast in his belief that greatness awaited him beyond the horizon. And so, with renewed determination burning in his breast, Sir Reginald embarked upon his most perilous quest yet to seek out the legendary golden egg of enlightenment said to bestow wisdom and power upon its possessor. Armed with naught but a crude map scrawled upon a scrap of parchment, he ventured forth into the unknown, his heart set aflame with the promise of adventure. Along his journey, Sir Reginald encountered a myriad of strange and wondrous creatures, a talking squirrel with a penchant for riddles, a chorus of singing frogs whose melodies echoed through the verdant glades and a venerable owl whose wisdom was as boundless as the starlit sky. Each encounter, though fraught with its own challenges and tribulations, served to enrich Sir Reginald's quest, imparting upon him valuable lessons and insights that would shape his destiny. Yet, as Sir Reginald's journey drew to its climax, he found himself faced with his greatest trial yet, a towering mountain its peak shrouded in mist and mystery. With each step bringing him closer to his goal, his heart quickened with anticipation, his wings beating with a fervor born of determination. At long last, after an arduous ascent that tested his strength and resolve, Sir Reginald reached the summit of the mountain. There, amidst a nest of gleaming gold, lay the fabled golden egg of enlightenment, its surface aglow with an ethereal radiance. With trembling talons, Sir Reginald reached out and claimed the egg, a surge of power coursing through his feathers as he did so. In that moment, he knew that he had achieved his destiny, that he was no longer merely a chicken, but a true knight, worthy of the title and all the honor and glory that accompanied it. And so, as Sir Reginald Featherbottom stands triumphant atop the mountain, the golden egg cradled in his wings, 
we are reminded that greatness knows no bounds.